Well, we're here in Lodica to remember the work of Barnet Strauss and the people of Stoke-on-Trent in helping to rebuild Lodica uh, and change the lives of the people of this area. Um, it's very important as well to the people of Stoke-on-Trent who uh, have never been given the chance to celebrate the work of this man and the work of um, their grandparents, great-grandparents. Um, he came over to the UK in 1906 and set up his uh, practice in 1926. He became a councillor in 1938 in Shelton. And um, when the tragedy happened in Lodica, he decided to do something about it and he set up a campaign called Lodica Shall Live in defiance of Hitler's uh, proclamation that Lodica should die forever. Uh, there was a groundswell of support from the workers of Stoke-on-Trent that they should support this and together they began to raise funds um, with a view to uh, rebuilding the Ditsa after the war. Um, we have much in common, much to share with the people, the children of this area. Cladno uh, Ditsa, formerly mining area, Stoke-on-Trent, formerly mining area. It's vital that we restore these links so that we can both learn from each other. Pocházím z pětičlené rodiny, z které jsem nakonec zůstala úplně sama, protože tatínka zastřelili, maminka mi zemřela, babička zůstala v koncentračním táboře v Osvětími v Polsku a 15-letého bratra, kterému byli dva měsíce přes 15 let, fašisté zastřelili. No tak devátého, z 9. na 10. června obklíčili obec němečtí vojáci a SS. Do obce pustili každýho a z obce nikoho pak už. Z toho jsem byla vyléčena, když jsme přišli do školy a ještě než jsme do té školy přišli, tak oddělili od nás tatínka který, se, který ho přiřadili k mužům, kteří stáli před farou. Ty vojáci začali ty děti vyvolávat podle abecedy, ovšem matky se jich držely, děti plakaly, nikdo nechtěl k cizímu vojákovi jít. Protože oni, než je ty děti dali do plynu, do těch aut plynových, tak jim rozdali těm starším lístky, aby napsali domů si obalíček. It's uh, five months ago we received uh, the email from Stoke on Trent and we are uh, surprised and uh, we will be <clears throat> very glad uh, to make a friendship between uh, Lidice and Stoke on Trent because uh, <clears throat> Mr. Bernastros uh, was one of the first uh, people in the world uh, which uh, has the idea Lidice shall leave že pan jako Barnet Stros, že iniciátorem byl, to byla jeho idea, myšlenka, založit v lidicích sad přátelství a míru a posléze to byla další myšlenka jeho, oslovit umělce z celého světa, aby svá nejkrásnější díla věnovali lidicím. We're here because we, we've been invited to partner with Lidice to, to commemorate really what was a great achievement between some of the people from Stoke-on-Trent and in helping to rebuild the village of Lidice. And so we're standing here now on this site obviously of the original village and really it's quite an amazing feeling to be here. I felt extremely humble um, and to think that human being could do that to somebody else um, and especially to innocent children I think as, as a parent it really gets to you um, the fact that they you know these children were torn apart from from the mothers most of them were were killed um, and it, it's just horrendous and I, the whole day really was extremely emotional I think so I think it's great that we've got this exhibition to celebrate his work now uh, and for us from Stoke-on-Trent, by celebrating Barnet Strauss, we're also, which is very personal to us, we're celebrating the work of the people of Stoke-on-Trent. So what we're trying to do is we, we, we've set up a campaign to actually 
remember what he did in Stoke on Trent as well. And, and For me, um, Radica um, uh, symbolises uh, reconciliation, um, and I think I think in that context, the work of Barnett Strauss and the people of Stoke on Trent is all the more important because. Um, this is a world-renowned centre for reconciliation. People come from all over the world uh, to, to this village. And really, it's because of the work of Barnett Strauss and the people of Stoke-on-Trent that very much contributed to what we have here today.